Okay, so this is exercise 15.7. In questions one to six, complete the following derivatives using the chain rule. Now, if I had a fraction, s over t, okay, and I wanted to write s over t in a different way, what I could say is it's s over r, okay, and then all I need to do is there's an s on top, there's an s on top. There's not a t on the bottom. So that means the t should come in here. Now there's a t on the bottom. What will cancel out the r I put on the bottom? R on top. An r on top. So S over R, R over T. The chain rule obeys the same principle. So for example, in question two, the V dt equals dr dt multiplied by, okay? I, the dt is on the bottom, so the dt is, sorry, it's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happens is, uh, the V is here, the V is here, and then that's a dt on the bottom, <laughs> and the T here. And this is a dr, okay, so dr is there. Now, the next thing is going to try and select a question that doesn't have a dt in it, but I think it, it's relatively impossible, so I'm going to do number six. da dr equals da over dt. And so what's going to happen is uh, the da is there, the da is there, the dt the is there, and the dr is there. So dr is going to go on the bottom, and there's going to be another dt on top. Okay, does everybody understand that? Yes. Okay, so it's basically the same thing as a fraction going upside down. Now, these things get hard when there is a uh, when there is an equation at hand. So, for example, would be question ten: the path of a projectile is given by the formula y equals two x minus x squared over twenty. Now, what I'm assuming here is the y-axis is telling you how high you're up in the air, and the x-axis tells how far you're across. Is everybody happy with that? Yeah. X tells you, for, for, for example, X is 5, Y is 10. That means 5 meters across, 10 meters up into the air. Does that make sense? This is what type of shape with the minus X squared? Mm -hmm. N shape, the minus X squared. And it's shown on the diagram, isn't it? Okay, now, what I asked me to do is find the Y dt when X equals 5. Now, if I differentiate this equation, what do I find <laughs> out? I find out the y dx, yeah? So the y dx is going to be 2 minus, now what's the derivative of x squared? And 2x divided by 20? x over 10. I know the y dx, and I also know the x dt. So what I can put down is this, guys. The y dx <coughs> equals the y and the x. You see the way I split them up there? Now what's the middle value? D t. Does everybody see that it's still the y dx? Now look what happens here guys, okay? Now what happens here is, uh, see this dt dx, yeah? That's the upside down version of dx d t. What happens if I turn them both upside down? So for example, 2 thirds equals 4 6. What happens if I turn both sides upside down? I get 3 over 2 equals 6 over which is equal. So I'm going to do the same thing here. What I'm going to say is that it's 4 over 1. So I'm going to get is dt dx ends up to be 1 over 4. Okay? So dy dx, well what is dy dx again? dy dx is 2 minus x over 10 equals dy dt multiply by a quarter. Now we're also told that x equals 5. Replace this x with 5. So it's going to be 2 minus a half, which is 1 and a half. 1 and a half equals a quarter dy dt. Now what are you going to do with that number 4? Multiply it by 1 and a half, and you're going to get dy dt equals 6. 4 times 1 and a half is 6. Don't be too worried if you aren't getting it just yet. We'll do one more, you'll see the, the gist of it, okay? Uh, um, now, excuse me, number eight. Now, Fionn, when you differentiate the y dx, when you differentiate y, what do you get here? So where does the tree go? Uh, three, uh, x so 3 multiplied by 3x three minus 3x, three what goes here? Uh, three minus, uh, 
3 minus 1, which is 2. Now, what's the one part we forgot to do here? Differentiate, Differentiate the box, and we get 2x minus 3. And what we're going to get is uh, we're going to multiply the 3 by this. Why can't we not multiply it by the squared, Rory? Um, because it doesn't fit in. Uh, you can't, unless you square it out, you can't multiply. Okay? Operations come before multiplication in Bombas. Okay? So, what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to get 6x minus 9. We're going to get x squared minus 3x squared. Now, that's what dy dx is. The whole goal of our question is to find out what dy dt is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down dy dx, and then I'm going to write down dy on top, dx on the bottom. What letter should I fill in here and here? DT. DT. Okay. Now, what we got here is we know what dx dt is, yeah. Now, what was going to turn that upside down for dt dx? Two over one. Turns that one into two. Okay. Now, if we're to bring down the two, what would happen? We'd say a half dy dx equals dy dt. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to half dy dx, which is going to be a half 6x minus 9, bracket x squared minus 3x squared, where we're giving an x value to use. x equals 2. So replace all x's with 2, so we're going to get a half. That's going to be 12 minus 9, which is 3. That's going to be 4 minus 6, which is going to be minus 2 squared. Put all that in, we're going to get a half of 12, which is 6. The answer for dy dt is 6. Okay? That's it. Not too bad. Now, we're going to go to next is number 13, where you have to start constructing the questions yourself. Now, the area of a square, okay? Connor Fagan. The area of a square. Shh. Area equals x squared. The area is increasing at the rate of 8 centimeters cubed per second. 8 centimeters cubed means it's in, the area is increasing at 8 centimeters cubed per second. The change in area is dA. What does seconds mean? Change in time. That's dA dt equals 8. Okay? Because the units gives it away. It's centimeters cubed is area, seconds is time. Okay, so that's why it's area divided by time. Okay, find an expression in terms of x for the rate of increase of the length of a site. The rate of increase, when you're talking about rate, you're talking about how much is my side increasing by. X represents the length. How much is the length of, length of the side increasing with respect to time? So lads, look what happens here. What happens as I make the... Uh, what happens as I make the length bigger? What happens when I make the length bigger? What happens to the area? It gets bigger as well. Which one would have the bigger increase, the area or the length? The area. Okay, because it's 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 a square term, while length is only a linear term. Yeah, ex uh, not necessarily exponential, but square. Okay. Now, what we're going to get here, guys, is this. We're going to do what we did last time. A equals x squared. What's a logical choice to do there? DA dx. DA dx equals 2x. Stop there. DA dx also equals, let's use the information we have. DA dt dt d dx. Perfect. Now, Find an expression in terms of x for the rate of increase of the length of a side. So the length of a side is dt dx, okay? Now look at this. It's going to be, shh, excuse me. It's going to be 2x for this. What's dA dt again? 8 for that one. And that's going to be times dt dx. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to divide down by the 8, and what do we get? x over 4 equals... DT dx. We don't want the TDX, we want the X T. Flip it upside down. DX DT equals 4 over 
x. Now, find the rate of increase when x equals 16. Replace x with 16 and we get dx dt equals 4 over 16 and it's going to be dx dt is a quarter. Now guys, what is the change of a length with time? So here's my length and every second it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. What's the units? Um, centimeters it's changing its length every second centimeters per second or cms to the minus one they both mean the same thing all right guys we're nearly there now okay we're going for number 15 now it's a good question 15 okay S spherical snowball melts at the rate of 20 centimeters cubed per hour what is centimeters cubed the unit of? Volume. volume. Okay, volume. Guys, if I was to come up with a derivative, d something, d something, what would it be equal to? V. dv, dt. Now, here's the interesting part. Is it getting bigger or smaller? Smaller. If it's getting smaller, it's minus 20, not plus 20. Decreasing as opposed to increasing. Okay, next thing. What is the volume of a sphere, Connor? Volume of a sphere? Uh, 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Okay. What is the rate of change? So look at that. It's looking for the rate of change of radius. What derivative is that, uh, Rory? Rate of change of a radius. Um, equation. Yeah. It's d something, d something. <laughs> change of radius, dr. Rate means with time. Dr dt is what we're looking for. We're looking for dr dt. <coughs> now, we currently have this is the equation. Once you find out what equation you're using, this is a this hasn't been differentiated yet, has it? No. If I was to differentiate it, what letters would I use? Dv dr equals. Bring the three to the front. Three times four over three. Four. Or 12 over 3, uh, 12 over 3, which is still 4. And then pi r squared. That's the VDR. Now, what else is the VDR equal to if we use the chain rule? dt and dt. Okay. Now, shh, what we're going to do is we're going to fill them in now. We're going to get 4 pi r squared. What's the VDT again? Minus 20, and we're looking to find uh, dr dt, but we can find uh, we can find dt dr. Okay, so it's the same thing, more or less. Now, what is the radius equal to? What is the radius equal to? Can anybody tell me? Two. Sorry. Half Radius. Uh, sorry, we don't know what the radius is. So yeah. Okay. So dt dr ends up to be minus 20 into that. So what when we put minus 20 into that? We're going to get 4 pi r squared over minus 20, which is the same thing as minus pi r squared over 5. Where are you expecting? And now we're going to turn it upside down. And we're going to get the r dt equals minus 5 over pi r squared. Uh, sorry? Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll tell you now what that means, right? So Simon when you said we said earlier that our snowball is decreasing okay it's not a negative radius it's a negative change in radius so for example at the moment you have a big radius a couple minutes later your radius has decreased that's why it's negative it's always decreasing because the snowball is getting smaller and smaller and smaller smaller and smaller radiuses that's why it's differentiated form is a negative number because it's getting smaller now we're finally asked, well what happens if uh, shh, what happens if uh, r equals 2? Well if r equals 2, what we're going to get is the r dt is going to be minus 5, 2 squared is 4, minus 5 over 4 pi, because some of time what that is, calculator 5 divided by 4 pi, I think I might get it there, uh, it's going to be point, call it point 0.4, okay? So it's minus point 0.4. Now what's the units of the r dt? Can anybody tell me? Uh, What's dr? What's the change in radius? Uh, centimeters over, over seconds. Centimeters per second. Okay, guys.
What is the rate of change of surface area? Rate of change of surface area. Now this is an interesting one. What is the surface area of a sphere? So I just, just leave that part there. Actually, I don't need that. What's the surface area of a sphere? Can anybody tell me? Surface area of a sphere? <coughs> huh? <coughs> surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. You'll look that up in your tables and you'll find it underneath the sphere. Rate of change of the surface area. What does rate mean again? With time. So what, what uh, derivative am I going to get here? DA. So I'm going to get DA dr, but what I'm looking for is DA dt, is what the question wants. So I'm going to get DA dr starting now. What's DA dr? 8 pi r. Okay. And then I'm going to write down DA dr equals DA over dt by dt dr. Now, did I already find out what dr dt was earlier? Oh, I already have it. dt dr is pi r squared over 5. So minus pi r squared over 5. So I'm going to take that information and bring it back to the top. I already have this information from the last question. Okay. So what we're going to do here is this. dA dr, 8 pi r equals dA dt, which is... Uh, I don't know, that's the point of the question. And then the last one is going to be minus pi r squared over 5. Look what happens. Pi is cancelled. 5 multiplied by 8. 40 r divided by r squared equals dA dt. Now, guys, what is, uh, what is 40 r divided by r squared? 40 over r equals dA dt. What are the units again? What's area? Centimeter squared per second. So let's put in r equals uh, 5, divide it in, and we're going to get 8 centimeters per second for dA dt. Okay, one more for the road. Uh, probably not going to get it in, am I? No. no.